Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically update your Figma text content from Microsoft Word using the CopyDoc plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go up to your little resources icon at the top of your Figma file here. And if you click on that and search for CopyDoc, so that's C-O-P-Y-D-O-C, and under the plugins tab, if you just go ahead and click on the CopyDoc item, that'll allow you to run the plugin by either clicking this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this little more options icon here and clicking save plugin. And that'll allow you to open it from your save plugins list later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm gonna to go to my canvas and right click anywhere, go down to plugins and then click on uh, CopyDoc under saved plugins. So I'm gonna to go to save plugins, click on CopyDoc and that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So this plugin has a bunch of different features, uh, but for today, I'm just gonna be focusing on these two, which are the export text layers feature and the import text layers feature. So what we can do first is export our text layers to a Word document, and we can do that by clicking on export text layers here, and then we can go ahead and change this export format up here. So if you go ahead and click on docx, which is the Word document format that we're gonna be using, so I'm gonna select that, and then you can basically just check whichever frames you wanna include in the export. So in this case, I've only got one, so I'm just gonna leave that one checked. And then it's up to you to change any of these uh, options down here as well. Uh, I'm just gonna leave these as default for now. You can also do things like change the order uh, that the text shows up, and you can group duplicate layers and things like that. But for today, I'm just gonna leave it default and click on the export docx button. So I'm gonna do that now. And that's just gonna export our content to a docx file, which is a Word document file. So I'm gonna click on download docx export, save that to my desktop. And then I'm just gonna unzip that file and open that up. So if we have a look at the folder, you can see we've got a design reference here, just uh, so you've got an external reference of what the copy looks like. And then we can go ahead and open up our docx file that we just exported from Figma. So I'm gonna double click on that docx file that's uh, opened up Microsoft Word. So we've got Microsoft Word running and this will basically allow us to edit the content in Microsoft Word and then in a minute we'll re-import it back into Figma. So I'm just gonna make a few different changes here. So if we change uh, the name, we can change the uh, work title to be something like experience. Maybe we can change this to be uh, my bio or something like that. And maybe we wanna change uh, some of these company names to uh, some different ones. We could change some of these tags. So you've got these little tags down here that's being exported. So maybe we could change that to uh, development or we could do this as uh, art direction or something like that. Just a few different examples to show you what this is gonna look like. Uh, there's some other things we can do as well. So you can see we've got some links in here that have been included. So those are links that have been added in Figma. Uh, you can also change those as well. So if you wanted to change uh, the text or change the uh, domain, we could definitely do that. So you could do uh, link, uh, edit link, and then change that in here. So maybe we just wanna change that to something else. So in this case, uh, I'll just make that uh, hypermatic.com. And then we'll be able to see what that looks like in Figma in a second. So I'm just gonna change that now, save it. Also make that the text up here. So I'm just gonna change that. Uh, I'll get rid of the www and just make that a bit simpler. And we can also do things like uh, formatting. So if you wanted to add bold or italics to some of the content, you could do that. So you can just highlight the text, make it bold, make it italic, uh, and that'll get imported in a second as well. So I'm just gonna bold and italicize those. And I think that's probably good enough for now just to show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna click save on my Word document in Microsoft Word. And then I'm just gonna minimize that and go back into Figma. So back in Figma, I'm just gonna close off this little uh, export confirmation. And this time we're now gonna click on the import text layers button. So I'm gonna click on import text layers, which is gonna allow us to re-import text updates back into Figma. So I'm gonna click on that now. And you can see here, it's got a little drop zone that we can either drag and drop or click on a file and upload that. So we're gonna upload this directly from our computer. This doesn't get uploaded anywhere. It just goes straight into the plugin. So I'm just gonna drag and drop that docx file drop that into here. And once that loads up, it's gonna give us some previews of the content that's been changed. So you can see here that it's basically uh, showing us some of the changes we made. So you'll remember we changed uh, these different text uh, items and it's just giving us a bit of a visual confirmation of what's changed. If you wanna exclude any of these, you can basically just uncheck those and they won't get included. Uh, for today, I'm just gonna leave them all checked 
And now that we can see that we're basically happy with the updates that we've added, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the update Figma text layers button up here. So I'm gonna click that now. And that's basically gonna apply those updates. So we can see that nine Figma text layers have been updated. And we can see that the copy in the file has been updated as well. So you can see here, we changed the name, uh, we changed the subheadings, we changed the company names, uh, we added some extra tags or some different tags. So you can see art direction's been updated. Uh, that was changed from concept art to art direction. So all the tags have been updated. We added some formatting. So we got some formatting up here uh, that we added. And we've also got, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, the uh, company name as well. So that's basically just a really quick example of how you can uh, do that. Uh, as you can see down here, we've got our uh, updated link. So because the text is a bit longer uh, than it was previously, that text uh, may have to change position. So maybe we have to move some of these text layers over. Uh, this is much easier if you're using auto layout. So if you're automatically uh, setting your frames to position the contents using auto layout, uh, on your Figma frames, that's gonna make this way more flexible. Uh, if you've got manually positioned text like this case uh, has, then if you're adjusting the lengths and uh, size of those text layers, that's gonna probably require some tweaks if the text layers are gonna have longer content uh, than what's currently there. Um, but you can see that it's basically updating uh, the content as we expected from the Word document. So um, yeah, that's basically just a really quick overview of how you can use uh, Microsoft Word and docx files to update your Figma content with the CopyDoc plugin. Uh, this is pretty useful if you wanna be making bulk updates to your artboards or to your designs outside of Figma. If you've got a copy team or a uh, team of people who aren't in Figma and they need to make copy updates, uh, this is a really quick way of allowing them to make updates in their preferred app like Microsoft Word in this case. And then you can then re-update uh, your Figma file based on importing that updated file as well. So um, we'll leave it there for today. I just wanted to keep that really short just to give you a quick overview of how you can use uh, docx files to update your Figma content from Microsoft Word. I hope it helps you or your team uh, if you've been wondering how to do this. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.